everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so today's video I'm going to do a Q&A but it's going to be beauty and makeup related so I put on my Facebook um, that I wanted to film this so I got you guys to ask me some questions so I got you guys to ask me some questions that were makeup or beauty related so I'm just going to get right into it because this could be a long video um, I'm sorry if I don't answer your question I am going to try and answer everyone but I got quite a few questions and I don't want this video to be too long and some of the questions were quite similar. Anyway, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first question was from Kate Black and she said, the best concealers, mine never seem to work very well and can still see dark circles and spots. So when it comes to concealers, you obviously want a full coverage concealer if you want to cover any blemishes or spots. And it's probably the way you apply it as well. Um, so make sure you kind of do dabbing motions using your finger or a sponge. You never swipe the concealer on or like rub it in because you're just going to move the coverage around. So what you want to do is literally just dab it in place, keep it right in the area where you want the coverage and then just dab around it to blend out the edges. Sorry if I keep looking down, I've um, got everything on my phone. Um, so yes, Best concealers, so if you want a cheaper alternative, then the Rimmel Lasting Finish, I think it's called, it's the one in the tub, that's really high coverage, it's really nice and creamy, um, and you can use that on any blemishes, maybe not the under eye, because it might be a little bit too creamy, but yeah, great for blemishes, so maybe give that a go um, if you want to find something quite easy and on the cheaper side. So more on the higher end, which is, you know, it's not really expensive, um, I would say the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC, that is, again, in a little tub, it's really creamy, very high coverage, you can really build up to a full coverage as well. Um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, the one in the tiny little glass bottle, sorry, bottle with a pump. And that is amazing coverage for underneath the eyes and also for blemishes. So it's a great all rounder. It sets pretty matte, so it's nice and long wearing. But then again, with all of the concealers, I will always set them in place with a little bit of powder. Whether that's a setting powder or a translucent powder, you just want to set it in place um, so it doesn't move throughout the day. And when you do set it, again, make sure you do dabbing motions with your brush. So dip it in the product and then just dab your brush over that area. So you set it in place and you don't want to buff it in because you just move the foundation and concealer and you completely defeat the point of you know, having the coverage there basically. So yeah, I hope that helped. Okay, next question is from Alicia. Hey Alicia. Um, she said, your favorite brand aside from MAC. So that's quite a hard question because it's hard to find a brand that has everything that you love or they sort of offer everything. Um, I really can't pick one. Um, that's hard. I, I actually do really like most of NARS, um, most of the NARS products. Um, then I also love Morphe as well. I do find I buy quite a lot from Morphe. Yeah, and Makeup Geek. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say NARS, Makeup Geek and Morphe. Okay, that's not one, but... Yeah. And then Alicia said, um, your favourite celebrity makeup, okay, I'm going to re be really cliche here, but I, I actually really do love Kim Kardashian's makeup, maybe not her old look, you know, how she recently looks, obviously to do with makeup artists and trends, that sort of thing, but I do think her makeup always looks amazing, um, again with, um, Chloe Kardashian's makeup, always amazing, but I've got to say Ariana Grande as well because she is like one of my favourites, I just love everything about her and I always love her makeup, so yeah, let's say her. Okay, so next question from Emily Ann, she said the best type slash make of foundation for oily skin, so I would probably say you always want a matte foundation for oily skin, it's going to be the longest wearing or a powder foundation so 
and also I would always set it with a powder. Always, always set your makeup with a powder just because it's going to make it last a lot longer um, and just really seal it in place. So the best foundations that I've personally found for oily skin have been Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's so long wearing, um, it's amazing coverage and it's very very matte so it will not budge throughout the day. But I will say you have to use, you know, quite a small amount because otherwise if you, put, if you put too much on then it gets a little bit cakey looking. Um, but yeah, super long wearing so you can always just use a... Blah, blah, blah. Super long wearing, so you can just use a small amount if you do like um, a like lighter coverage. Um, but yeah, all of the kind of double wear range. Sorry, I keep hearing something. All of the double wear range is amazing. And Alicia, I think you've already um, tried this, or you, you already wear it. But it's the Mac Pro Long Wear um, Foundation which I think it is really long wearing, but I know um, Alicia has said before that it still gets a little bit oily on her. So I would still set it with a powder. Uh, on most people, it is really long wearing. That's what it's designed for. I think it's supposed to last up to 16 hours. Um, so yeah, definitely give it a try because it is one of the longest wearing foundations out there. Yeah. Next on my list, Joyce said that she agreed with Kate in terms of the best concealers. So that was the first question. Um, and then the next one, um, Hannah Graham said the best lipstick brand that doesn't bleed. So I wouldn't necessarily say there's like a best brand out there. Well, I would probably say my personal favourite. I'll say that at the end. But basically, I think you would just need um, a really good lip liner that's going to go around the edges and prevent any bleeding. And then also, for example, if you go for a lipstick that's really highly pigmented and very glossy, then it's more likely to bleed um, just because it doesn't have that a hold on the lip, if that makes sense. Um, in terms of the best brand, I'm not going to say, I'm not just going to say this because I work there. But I would say MAC do the best um, variety of lipsticks in terms of shades and textures for all different skin tones. Um, in terms of textures that don't necessarily bleed as much would be probably the MAC texture. So that's with any lipstick brand out there, MAC is typically going to last longer. So Lily Re Revit, I'm really sorry I've butchered your name. I can't pronounce names. But yes, Lily said, um, a good foundation which isn't patchy. Um, so I would say it depends on your skin type. Yeah, I would say it depends on your skin type. So for example, if you've got dry skin and you're using something that's more of a matte texture, then it's literally just going to flake off in areas and end up being patchy because it's not just not giving your skin enough moisture. So you would obviously need to go for a really hydrating foundation that's got more moisture in it. And then obviously if you do want it to be more matte, you can just set it in place to prevent it from moving. Um, and also using like a good primer and moisturizer, that's gonna make such a difference in the way your foundation looks and how it applies and um, obviously using a powder will make it last longer as well. And then in terms of your makeup lasting or not going patchy when you've got oily skin, like I said before, you obviously need something more matte um, because if you've got oily skin and you're using a foundation that's, you know, got too much moisture in it or it's too glowy, then it's just gonna slide off your skin, resulting in it being patchy. So I obviously I said earlier about the best matte foundations. So yeah, you can just rewind to that if you wanna know more. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna butcher your name. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to say it. I bet, I bet you get it all the time, but Leah, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, she said um, best mascaras and best highlighters. Ooh, good question. So, um, I would say mascara is quite a personal thing, it kind of depends on what your lashes are already like and then how you want them to look. So for example, if you've got quite short lashes then you obviously want to go for a mascara that's more defining and more lengthening, or say if your lashes 
are quite long and very thin then you obviously want to go for something that's more volumizing if that makes sense so in your in your um like local super drug or boots or drugstore wherever you live they normally have those like really affordable brands and they normally like specify what they do whether they're volumizing lengthening um and they're pretty decent as well for the price um so the best mascaras that i've personally come across i would say are um, max factor masterpiece um l'oreal i think telescopic um you've got this is just a personal choice by the way which i would recommend um mac extended play especially if you are more mature and if you've got shorter lashes because it's lengthening and defining then you've got um mac false lash that's great for someone who's already got long lashes who just want to really lengthen and slightly add volume without looking clumpy and if you like super volumized and full lashes then go for mac in extreme mascara okay and then a good all-rounder i would say is their real by benefit i know that's the best seller everyone seems to love that mascara and in terms of best highlighters i would say becca cosmetics they've got like a wide variety of shades they're really creamy like kind of buttery feeling even though they're powder and they're really pigmented as well and jack and hill has collaborated with them so what more could you love <laughs> so next question hannah morgan said what is my desert island product okay this is such a hard question why did you ask this um it's really hard because I would say it would always be foundation or concealer because um, my skin is one thing that I'm quite self-conscious about and I would always want it to be covered. However, if I'm on my own, then I won't really care. And also, if I'm getting a suntan, then obviously, you know, I'm going to be really tanned and I won't need coverage. So then it would be mascara. Anthony Connors. Hello Ant, he said, when will we have a Jana collaboration? So if you didn't know, he's made up um, Jana, which is Hannah and Josh combined. We couldn't get that out then. But yeah, because um, he has his YouTube channel as well. So um, one day we will do a collaboration. Probably like maybe this month or next month when we have time to film together and I want him to do my makeup. That'd be hilarious see how much he really listens to me um becky edwards hey becky she's also on youtube so i'll link her down below a little sneaky promotion um becky said did you go to college to do makeup or are you self-taught so um i would probably say it's a little bit of both because before i went to um before I'd done my course, I literally learned everything off of YouTube. I started doing my friend's makeup and um, I just learned loads of techniques off Pixie Woo basically. Um, and then I went to uni to do a makeup and hair design course. So I learned sort of like the basics and like, you know, the technical side of makeup. Um, but to be honest, I've learned a hell of a lot working at MAC um, so yeah I'd say a little bit of both and I, I probably learned more at MAC than I did at uni and I spent about nine grand a year for that course um, Tia Adams, I think your name's Tia, again I'm sorry if I said your name wrong um, she messaged me to say she would like to see my favourite eyeshadow palette of all time so, it's a hard one, but again, thank you so much for messaging me um, and taking your time. She said some really um, nice things, so thank you for watching my videos. So, I don't necessarily have a favourite palette of all time, which is, like, pre-made. I have made this palette and I literally use it every single day. It's one of the MAC palettes. So I um, picked out all of the eyeshadows and put them into this palette. So it's a mixture of MAC eyeshadows and Makeup Geek. So you can see they are well loved. So I will go through the names if any of you are interested. 
so from this end you've got woodwinked, amber lights, antiqued, Swiss chocolate, all by MAC, I'm peachless which is by Makeup Geek, coral by MAC, rule, red brick, expensive pink and embark, they are all by MAC, then we've got, I think this is soft brown, let me check. Soft brown. Mm. <laughs> I was doing so well. Yeah, blank type. Texture. I know this. Brown script. <laughs> All by MAC. And then lastly, I think this is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. Okay, so that is all the questions, guys. I'm really sorry if I didn't answer your question or if I didn't put it in there. I try to answer all of them, but I really I really don't want to make this video too long because I know people won't watch it. I know you guys who click off the video and you don't watch till the end. I know. I know you do. Anyways, moving on. Thanks to everyone who do watch all of my videos right till the end. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who asked me questions. I really appreciated you taking your time to um, think of these questions. But yeah, thanks again for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here to stay tuned for upcoming videos. And yeah, you'll see me in my next one. Bye.